Hello friends, this is Jeannie from Metal Dollhouse Rescue. Today I'm going to do a box opening. I ordered some lovely items from our sale the first weekend of September. And I've had them a while, but I have been traveling again, so I haven't gotten the box open. So let's open it up. I, I do remember what's in here. I remember mostly what I bought. I got these from Linda Gant. And if you know Linda, she is an expert on um, petite princess furniture. And that is what I got from her, mainly petite princess. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Very nicely taped up, nice and sturdy. Just what you would expect from someone that knows what she's doing when it comes to um, shipping these um, fragile little treasures. There they are, nicely wrapped in there, bubble wrap, um, as well as some peanuts in there. All right, let's see what we have. I want to tell you my story about uh, Petite Princess Furniture. Um, when I was young, I had a dollhouse, and it was a uh, Marks, and it had the 124 furniture in it, which was cute. But when I would go to the store, I would see this Petite Princess Furniture, and I thought, oh, that's so beautiful. But it was way above what my parents normally would buy for me for a small present. Now, maybe for a birthday might, they might have. But I always had a long birthday list, so I never did ask for these. So they'd fallen off my radar or something that was not for me because when I was young, it was too much money. And when we went to the dime store, my parents would give me five cents or 10 cents to buy maybe a little piece of candy or toy, but nothing that would buy these. And I don't remember what they cost back in the day, probably a couple of dollars, but that was more than my parents would pay for me uh, on a short notice just for fun. So as an adult, however, in fact, in the dollhouse group, I was reminded again, about Petite Princess and their lovely, lovely furniture. So now as an adult, guess what? I can buy all I want as long as it's with my in my own budget, which my own budget allows me to buy this stuff now. So that's what I've started to do, being re-reminded about this in this dollhouse group. Look at the detail of this. If you don't have some Petite Princess furniture in your house, trust me, you're kind of missing out. You need to get with that. Linda Gant has a lot available. She sells uh, on her own page. If you're not in the Petite Princess group, you'll want to get in there. Um, there. Of course, you can buy them on eBay also, too. There's other people that sell them. But if you buy from Linda, you are buying from the Petite Princess expert. So you know it's going to be what she says it's going to be. And you know it's going to be priced right and fair. So let's see. I also bought, she sells some other miscellaneous. And I think that's what this is. It's a little miscellaneous something or other. Oh, how cute is that? It's a little plate, food, got some corn on the cob. You know, I'm from Iowa, so that's perfect for me. That's perfect for my household. She had some little baskets. It's always fun to buy those little accessories when you see them come up, especially if they're not very much money because they add a lot of details to your house. Um, so put that in my little house. I'm going to show you my house when I get done here. Let's see what this one is. Mm, another petite princess table. You know, uh, this ta this furniture is not too difficult to find. It's not horribly expensive. Um, some of the pieces are more rare. Um, and I, I may never get for the rare stuff. I just enjoy having some of this beautiful furniture in my little house. I do have a house I'm going to mark for princess house furniture or princess petite princess furniture, but um, that house needs repaired. So. It's temporarily going to reside in my Wolverine house. This has got a little picture frame. Love it. Um, here's a little statue, little golden statue. Love it. Again, I always like to give a shout out of thanks to those of you that um, are so kind to sell your extra items to us and make provide them and ship them well for us very much appreciated especially for some of those of us that are just kind of beginning back into this um into this hobby this little packet being opened up it's got some little treasures in it I'm not sure what yet some kind of little accessories let's see what's in this little tiny thing oh it's a little tiny little pot and pan pack with a lid Here's another little pan. 
There's one more. This little envelope for a little um, baggie. Oh gosh, so precious. I don't know. I debate. What do you like best? The blue? The red? Do you like kitchens done in green? I'm going to put this up on my finger so you can see just how teeny that is. There's a little pot and pan and lid. Precious. Thank you. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, here's another little package. Oh, I know what this is. There was a little lot, a little set of like four baskets, I think. And I, I love baskets real life. And I'm going to need some baskets in my dollhouses, I'm pretty sure. I'm still in the stage of repairing a lot of my dollhouses. I bought quite a few in a hurry recently. And some of them, as you know, need painted and some repairs. So I've not done a lot of decorating yet, but I am getting prepared for that by buying some of these lovely, lovely little things to decorate my houses with. After I get them painted and so on. Let's see, I think I've got something else in here. A bigger, little bigger box wrapped up. Let's see what's in that. Oh yes. I've been trying to like every month buy a couple of the pieces, you know, so it's not such a big expenditure for me all at once. And this is like a hutch. I'm not sure if that's what they call it. Treasure trove cabinet is what it's called officially. I would call it something similar to a hutch. And I am going to show you the house that I have these set in, set up in, temporarily set up in. Look at how cute that is. The detail on this is furniture is phenomenal so if you have not been purchasing this furniture you'll want to look into it the drawers usually open the doors cabinet doors open um, it looks like glass it's not it's plastic but um, everything opens and functions just like it would in real life the little drawers open super super cute okay I'm gonna take a I'm gonna show you this house hold on just one second here this is what I'm talking about. Now this is my Wolverine house. So what I've been working on, as you might recall, my favorite house is always the one that's currently on my workbench. And this is the one I've been working on lately. You might have seen videos where I cleaned it up. I bought this at a an antique store and it was outside so it was quite dirty. So I did a video where I cleaned it up and I've been painting on it. I've got a little painting left to do. Uh, but I have temporarily staged my, my petite princess furniture in here. And look how really, really pretty it is. Now, um, there is something on this furniture I do want to show you. It's lovely, but there's something I do want to show you. Hold on just one sec. You might recall that one of the few problems with the Wolverine house is it has that little ledge that helps assemble it to keep it together. And sometimes that is not good with your furniture because it makes your furniture want to fall over. Well, I learned on this group, on this Facebook group, that if you buy these little bitty magnets, um, these were not expensive. You get quite a few there and you get 300 little tiny magnets and it was like maybe six dollars on Amazon. Um, but if you put those little magnets on and glue them on with a little bit of like three in one craft glue that keeps those from falling over. So here you can, I don't know if you can see, there's two tiny magnets there on the very back of that dresser. And when I put that there in the in the room then, that keeps that furniture from falling over which it can be annoying when you set it up all the time all the time I put some on the back of this little clock grandfather clock there's two up there in the corner and I also now in the kitchen here I've got um, I don't have a uh, petite princess furniture in the kitchen I have got this um, furniture I think it's Plasco but it also, I put on the back of the stove the two little magnets to keep that from toppling over all the time. This is a, not a bad idea to do in other dollhouses too, but in a Wolverine it's just almost essential. Otherwise your furniture is forever like toppling down and you have to set it back up again. So, just a shout out for the ideas I get from this group. From the access to the beautiful, beautiful items here are the items, some of the items I just now purchased, just now opened. I put them here in the, this is going to be a guest room maybe, or maybe it's going to be a reading room for my lady. She's got her baskets in there. Maybe she's a crafter. Don't have anything in the bathroom yet. One of these days I'll add something. The bedroom is just about fully furnished, although no accessories. Down here I've got the beautiful, beautiful piano, clock, petite princess fireplace. Um, I would call that a buffet, a table, chairs, and a little tiny drink cart. So a shout out to Linda Gant and Petite Princess. If you don't have some, get some. If you're not in that Facebook group, you need to join it. 
and uh, also for the little magnets, the trick about the little magnets that I learned on this group. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day.